Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm Lisa Houck, the hippie chick, and I have the handsome Dane with me today, the psychedelic dude. Psycho dude. We're vibing. We are. We're vibing. I'm vibing on coffee. <laughs> That's how we roll around here. <laughs> It's all PG around here. Right? <laughs> Nothing really like the 60s, but we're, no. just, just, we're just sticking with coffee, more like the 80s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I invited Dane to be with me today because yeah. he's got an exciting new program he's yes. helping to launch yes. called Advocat. Advocat, yes. Why don't you give us a, a little rundown of what the program's sure. about and maybe what the name stands for? Sure. Well, okay, so to begin with, Advocat, um, it's A D V O. Capital C, capital A, capital T, and the C-A-T, where you get the cat from, is the caregiver advocacy team. Um, basically what it is is that it's a group of CNAs and caregivers across the country that advocate not only for the profession, but their residents and themselves. Um, really, unlike in other advocacy groups where it mostly focuses on legislation, this is also more of a PR perspective as well to help provide a better public opinion on CNAs, nursing homes, taking care of old people. Because I don't think anyone that watches this, that it ha whether you are a CNA or not, you are, it, I'm fairly confident that you would say that nursing homes have a fairly bad PR problem. I would say it's not a glamorous job. Right, exactly. So, but it's an important job. So really, I think the main, the that's really the main focus of the Advocat program is to help change the court of public opinion on the profession, on nursing homes, et cetera, et cetera, because you really can't make any change when the public is against you. Well, And, I and they shouldn't be. There's no, no reason for them absolutely. to be against you. They see headlines all the time. You can't find – so Lisa Sweet does CNA Heroes, and she has to search for days and days and days just to find some good news or some – I have – when I do the news, I have to search for days and days to find something of good news. I mean um, – we have re on Wednesday. We had uh, we're, we're, there will be news that comes out on. Um, you will have seen that um, one. It, it was a uh, it was a nursing home in New Jersey where there's a wrongful death situation, mm -hmm. and the workers there they didn't specify what position they were, but there was a a, a simulated lap dance and a wrongful death like. And that's, boom, right there, a headline news, no problem. I mean, how are you supposed to fight that when everybody thinks that, well, you work in a nursing home, therefore you must be an evil human being. Mm. And really, people that are in legislation, people that we elect, whether it be on a federal level or a state level or a city level, they are citizens as well. So they have just about as much of an understanding as a general population would anyway. So it's really, really, really important to help the, the their constituency understand that there are reasons why things are bad in nursing homes. That is a small minority and not the majority. The majority of all CNAs are great human people. I mean, great humans. They are very, very caring. They work their tail off for almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we want to tell people because nobody's really fighting back nobody's saying that's not who we are that's not what a nursing home is and that's not mostly that's not what a cna is right we, we're, we're not that this is a great like this the, the simulated lap dance in new jersey that is a weird offshoot <laughs> example yes you are finding plenty of them and yes i do understand that you're finding constantly neglect and all this other kind of thing but Give me a second and let me help you understand what a CNA really is. And that's really what the Advocate program really is about, is to help change the perspective that people have about mostly CNAs, because we are a CNA association, but also long-term care and, and taking care of old people uh, in general. Well, I think there's a couple of reasons that's important. Mm -hmm. First of all, just because of the basics, you know, as a CNA, you are a caregiver. You think about other people before yourself. Uh -huh. And... You should be vilified for it. You shouldn't feel like, you know, people look down on you. You mm -hmm. should feel like you're special and and appreciated well, Lori, as you are. Lori, mm -hmm. in her speeches, I don't know if maybe a lot of you have been able to been um, fortunate enough to see Lori speak in person, but or have seen her at a CNA fest or a conference or something. One of the things is that. Um, 
that she says is when she was a CNA and she was at a party or something and she was standing there dancing or, you know, communicating, she would say that she's a CNA down at the nursing home and everybody would just shut up and look at her like, what's wrong with you? So then she started telling people that she was a dispatcher at the fire department. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> because I, I think that stigma is still, that stigma still applies um, that, oh, well, you work in a nursing home. Not so much that you're a CNA because... If you say I'm a certified nursing assistant, really a lot of the pub, really, really a lot of the population isn't really going to know what that means that you do work in a nursing home. But mm-hmm. as soon as you say you work in a nursing home, you're like they're like, oh god, mm-hmm. Ooh. and I mean, so I think the stigma is still there, and that quite frankly needs to change. The stigma is. Well, you know, it's as we've talked about many times over this positivity challenge and mm-hmm. stuff. It's so much easier, it seems, to put the negative out there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's easy for people, especially in social media. Those people that want attention, Mm -hmm. if they put negative out there, typically they get engagement, which is really sad. It should be the other way around. When the positive stuff goes out, that's when we should be engaging, Mm -hmm. not when it's bad. But, you know, those numbers, when you're talking about social media and influencers and things like that, those numbers are what they look for. And if they have to do negative to get them, that's what they're going to do. And I'm not saying everybody does that by any means. Don't. Don't interpret it that way, but I well, think particularly just, in the news. Well, just in the news alone. I mean, you watch. I I don't. News wa- is negative. I don't, I don't yes. watch the news. I read Associated Press or mm-hmm. or something else that is because I don't want a lot of negativity in my life. I just right. I just can't have. Yeah, I, I don't if, watch. If you the watch, news if you watch CNN all the time, if you watch what it, the other cable news stations all the time, you're only going to get. You're only gonna, you should if you don't feel depressed, then you're not human. <laughs> <laughs> and God, I know Quite even frankly. even in the local news, you know, I turn it on because yeah. I want to see the weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know he's going to come on about this time, so let me flip that on. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily want to hear about the murders that took place in Tulsa, sure. or you know, I mean, it's I don't want to hide from it, but I don't. And I don't want to fill it in my life all the time. And the time. thing is, is nursing homes are such easy targets. Yeah, such yes. easy. Targets. And it's so sad because you know, every one of us, every one of us, if we haven't been helped by a CNA when we were in the hospital or skilled nursing or long-term care. If we haven't already, we will be in our lives. These are the people that take care of you at the most vulnerable time in your life. They are the people you you look to. You are those people. Yes, you are those people. people. And it's so important that the nation as a whole understands the true role you have and how important you are. Mm -hmm. And we also need to start... really being concerned about bringing more people into the profession because our population is aging. The baby boomers are getting to the age they need care. And that was a huge influx of births after the World War II. And so you have have, um, an aging community. You have a lack of caregivers, a lack of physicians. Yeah, we're short now. Going to be we're, we're, able we're, to take care of them, and it's only going to get worse. We're, we are short as it is, and we have additional people. That I mean, you look at the numbers as it stands right now. Uh, for the first time in human history, old people outnumber young people. For the first time in human history, and it's going to get worse over the next ten yeah. years. So um, the, all those people are getting older, mm-hmm. <laughs> and all those people need to be taken care of, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse until we hit around our generation where population replacement isn't there yet because we're during our during my generation we're at 1.6 per 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 household 1.6 kids per household so we're not even at population replacement so the the population is actually going to decrease as we get older as my i'm 30 so Mm -hmm. uh about to be 32 but um unfortunately but um (laughs) so old as as soon as as soon as we start getting older (laughs) that number is going to go down but Either way, we're short as as we speak right now, and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And the last thing that we need is a bad PR problem where people don't want to be working in nursing homes. Mm-hmm. It's just, I mean, it, it, you could say that, that, well, Dane, that sounds bad, but it makes perfect it's sense. It's reality. It is reality. Mm-hmm. We have got to help encourage people, the future CNAs, come to us because we are going to desperately, mm-hmm. desperately, mm-hmm. desperately need the help. Okay, so if I yeah. understand Advocat yeah. correctly, yeah. you're looking for superstars. You're looking yeah. for that CNA that we were just talking about that comes to work every day, looks her best, his or her best, feels their best, treats everyone with respect, 
goes home feeling good about themselves because they've done a hard day's work mm -hmm. and they've helped people. Mm -hmm. If you're that person, then you are a good candidate for advocate. Well, another another thing is that um, if you got a little fight in you, <laughs> that makes it even better. <laughs> Not but, with your patients. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. If you, if you or your team at work. If you're somebody that, that is like me, if you're somebody that's like me that likes to a little feisty, little mm -hmm. do a little debate, a little bit argue maybe here or there. But if you're feisty, because we're gonna need that, we're gonna need that attitude if we're gonna be able to change that perception. Um, not hostile. Don't be that way, but somebody mm -hmm. that's willing to stand there and go, that's not the way that it is. Right. Stand up for yourself. That's not how it's good. If Because nobody, we're not fighting for ourselves. We're not fighting. I mean, you, you look all across really any sector mm -hmm. in in the United States, come, they fight for themselves. They, they go, they no, that's not what, that's not what this is. Uh, no, that's not how it is. Uh, but we don't do that. We don't do that at all. So. Um, that has got to change. If we plan on, nobody's going to respect us until we respect ourselves. That's a very that's good point. That's just the way that it is. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you're going to be able to have self-respect is if you go, no, that's not, you that's can, not me. that's not how, that's not me. That's not, that's not who I am. That's not who my friends are. That's not how my coworkers are. That's not how my home is. That's not, this is my home. This is my house right here. This is what I take care of this. This is, these are my residents. And we got to have to have, so yeah, definitely be a superstar at work. Definitely. So you, that we have a, a, you know, a leg to stand on. But if, if you don't have a little fight in you, then there's really no point in, in moving <laughs> forward. So yeah, you definitely have a little fight in you. For All sure. right. Yeah. So you are actively looking yes. for candidates yes. for advocate. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in that, you may reach out to Dane at the office yes. through Facebook, through Twitter, through any of our social media feeds, or you can even comment below this show, yeah. and he'll be glad to get back to you. Uh, you can message me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I I'm always on it. Just search mm -hmm. Dane Henning, and yeah, you you'll you'll see my you'll see my little girl waving a flag. Waving <laughs> and we'll flag, try. So he me. and I will both try to be on when the show airs, airs because we yeah. filmed this a little early. Yep. So when the show airs, we will try to be on so that we can actually chat with you in live real time, time, real time, so you can. Ask any questions you have sure. and we can answer those. Sure, absolutely. So, all right. Well, that's our show for today. Our next show, next week, we're going to be talking about creativity. So Ooh. I'm anxious to, to delve into that. That, that was going to be fun. Yeah. That was going to be fun. So, all right. So until next time, we're so glad you joined us and peace out.